We'll back up a little bit. Connor's out here. If I had space, you're up on my hip and I'm attacking. I have a little bit of space. What you typically get to in exchange is a punch through. Right? So you watch my right foot. My right foot stays behind. Punch through. And I change my angle. Okay? So all we're going to do, pretty basic, keep our rhythm. One, two, split. Right, left, into my pull. So we talked about our ability to stop earlier. Stop here, stop here, stop here. I can, I can stop in a variety of different footwork. I can be squared or I can be split. Now I also want to have the ability to change direction with various footwork. So right here, I'm changing direction with my outside foot behind. If I don't have access to this space, can you guard me for a second, bro? What's your name? Jackson. Jackson. So Jackson's on my hip. You're up here, you're being physical with me. I can't go one, two, I don't have access to that line, and you're being physical. So instead, I want to go one, two, get him bumped, and come back on three. We call this our anchored through. So instead of coming here and keeping that foot behind and skipping, I'm one, two, three. So you can step off here. You're good. Drop, left, right, through, come back, and change, so you're changing your angle, that right foot is long, come back through, finish at the rim. One, two, three, ah, close. One, two, ah. I would say about 99% of you are skipping. One, two, both feet are coming off the ground simultaneously. I'm off. Now, as I'm going downhill, I wanna go one, two, Three. So I'm, it's a three step. I'm dribbling on one and three. Here, one, two, three. What you guys are struggling with is you're unwilling to commit to a long stride with your right foot. You guys are going one, two. One, two, three. They are all long strides. Long, long through. 